plank gets into it. Oh, he actually spoke. Live dial pressure point cooking chicken cooking technique. He actually has, he looks like he is wearing outfit of the colonel. He even has a hat. Does he become his business partner? Wait, when did Clank learn to speak English? There it is. <gasps> it's the singularity as foretold. We mustn't let it happen or the appliance uprising will take us all. Self destruct. Ban Ban quickly unplugs Clank and rolls him out the back door of the arena. As you frantically prepare your dish, you notice Ashley has her spell book out. Is she going to use some sort of dark magic to turn the tide? You've got a book of your own, and you're desperate not to see her win another battle. Should you take this opportunity to fight magic with magic, even if it's almost certainly evil magic? Do it the hard way! Colonel Sanders taught us to do it the hard way, because it's better than the easy way to get, turns into a hard way. Who needs magic when you've got passion? I'm going to do it the hard way. Colonel Sanders sees that you've chosen to win on your own terms, and he gives you a subtle wink from across the room. Thanks, big guy. I believe in you, big papa. Miriam notices too. And I've always believed in you, big papa, since we were little kids. Because I'm your best friend forever. Oh, I got my friends all behind me. You turn to notice that Miriam is at your station cheering for you. Miriam, what about your dish? If you're here cheering, who is cooking? Tiny food, short cook time. I'm actually already done, so I thought I'd help you. Oh, that's sweet, but... Miriam tosses a handful of spices directly into your boiling noodles. Uh -huh. It's a secret ingredient! Oh, shit! She just threw I have new into my... <coughs> into my noodles! <coughs> That's not good! However, she doesn't know that you lied and the ingredient was made up. And where in the world did she get I have new mixture from? The boiling pot explodes, sending Miriam flying backwards. The watery noodles begin to swirl in the air, bubbling up into the dark cloud that thickens and congeals before your very eyes. It is I, Steve the Spork Monster! Steve? Wait, what happened to Borco? You're not here to battle me, are you? We Spork Monsters are many! I think Borco had the day off. But you have con conjured Steve, and I hate to battle! So I'd say you're doing pretty alright. Uh, hey, in the middle of cooking competition, I love this stuff. It's better than TV. You crazy kids and your culinary skills really impress me. Mind if I hang out? Sorry, Steve, but I'm kind of in the middle of something. Do you mind? Steve, this pork monster notices that you've gotten the grimoire stashed beneath your cooking station. I see what you're up to. Crisscross some magical items and accidentally summoned me, huh? <laughs> yeah, you guessed it, sorta. If you're here, would you mind tossing some fresh noodles in a pot of salted water? I'd love to. I've always wanted to help Top Chef, actually. You know, when I was just a little spork pup, back in the old country. You can feel Spork Monster winding up to tell a very long and involved story. You don't know exactly where they came from, but it seems like it was probably lonely there. Actually, you know what? Maybe you should watch from the stands. I really need to focus on this competition. I understand. It's kind of like that time in Monster School that I had fallen asleep during Scare Tactics class when I woke up. <laughs> Excuse me. You toss a serious stare at Steve and he takes the hint. Never mind. Uh, I'll tell you later. Good luck. Having suffered this huge setback, you don't know how you could ever win. I summon extra power from deep down within myself. I can do this. I have what it takes. I came here to win. Your hair turns mac and cheese orange as culinary energy flows through your body. It's over 9,000. Wait, 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 wait. Wait. Nah. My heart is pure. My hands are steady. My taste buds have been preparing their entire lives for. <laughs> yes, my papa. You are the chosen one. You will avenge me. The power you've been summoning immediately fades back out. <laughs> you interrupted my inspiring monologue! <laughs> Sorry. My heart is pure. My hands are steady. My taste buds have been preparing their entire lives for this moment. I will show the air world my cookery! You begin to levitate off the ground. Energy courses through your body. You know that with this power you can do anything. Except turn back time. 
That'd be super useful because while you were powering up, your chicken pot pie overcooked in the oven and can't be served. Shit! But don't worry, dear Big Papa. You may have suffered some setbacks, but it's all is not lost. Impressed with your fortitude, Colonel Sanders decides that you have earned his support. I've been watching you today, and I must say, I'm truly impressed. You've been thinking about your feet and rolling with the punches. Thinking with your feet? Nice, basic. Thinking on your feet and rolling with the punches. He steps up to your station and stands right beside you. I'm here to help. All you've managed to make is mac and cheese, and time's almost up, so you're going to need it. But Colonel Sanders... Er, but, but Colonel Sanders, what about the test? What happened to you? What about the rules? Following the rules has never really been my thing. I follow my heart. What a guy. Colonel Sanders unfolds a delicate white towel to reveal the most... Oh, wait. Yeah, I don't need to do the accent there. To reveal the most delicious fried chicken tenders you've ever laid your eyes upon. And besides, something unexpected combinations can have surprising effects that surpasses our individual efforts. Are you suggesting if we combine forces, we can form the perfect food union? Time's up, students! Hey, stop. Time expired. It's the moment everyone has been waiting for. You must now prepare your present dishes, or to present your dishes. A handful of students stand tall, but the class seems incomplete. It seems we're missing some students. Pop! Plank! From off screen, you hear a purr, a, hear a pure and innocent giggle that can only come from one student. <laughs> I'm flying! Sounds like it's coming from the broom closet over there. Miriam, would you mind? Instead of the closet, you see Pop hanging on a broom hook by the elastic of his underpants. Pop! Get down from there right now! Let me guess. Did Van Van have something to do with this? When someone asked for a wedgie, who am I to refuse? I thought, I thought the wedgie was a salad. Dogs. It looks like Pop eliminated from the challenge, seeing how he didn't cook anything. That was wrong. Uh, voice, whatever. I can't feel my legs. May I be excused? Sure. You kids, and your pranks, I must say, it's not the worst prank in UCSAL history. But I'm not, but it's not exactly your book material. Uh, I changed his voice again. Wait a second, pranks, pranks, clank! Where did that pressure cooker roll off to? Shit. I, how did I do that? I pushed a button. There we go. You wait to hear a signature word, beep, or other... Onata onomatopoeia. There it is. But there's none. Somehow, he must have gotten, uh, gotten unplugged. Uh, dang it. I keep misclicking. <laughs> that leaves only four remaining students. Please collect your final project. Yes, it's been a long semester. Wow. Three whole days long. But after, uh, but after days of hard work, the time has come. For me to eat! Miriam, please step forward. Now, describe your dish. I've made tender udon noodles in a savory soup. Oh, that looks good. My word, it's so delicate. Is that a teeny tiny Narutomaki? I spy floating in this itsy bitsy bowl. That's adorable. Yes, chef! Please, call me Sprinkles. Chef is my father's name. Uh. Yes, Sprinkles! And some green tea made from baby tea leaves that I picked myself. Sprinkles carefully sniffs around the dish before opening his mouth and letting just the tip of his pink dog tip <laughs> tongue dip into the bowl. Sublime! Would anyone else like a taste? Oh, come on, I'm not the only dog who does, doesn't floss. <laughs> I'm not one of the dogs who doesn't floss. <laughs> I even have a really cute electric toothbrush for my do for dogs. Fine, I'll enjoy it on myself. And in a flash, the entire meal has been devoured. Not that it took much. It was less than a thumb thimble's worth of soup. A plus, really? Do I taste a dish with as much love poured into it as yours? Oh, rarely, whatever. Miriam is overjoyed. She gives you a huge hug. Thank you, Big Papa, for helping me believe in myself. My uh, throat is starting to hurt on these voices. 
Bad Ben, you're up. Now, describe your dish. I've made uni of a smooth egg custard in an axe-hewn urchin shell topped with caviar. Did you skewer one type of urchin with the spines from a second different color type of urchin? Uh, yes, Sprinkles. A bit much, don't you think? That's exactly why I did it. A bit much is a kind, my kind of my brand. Doesn't it look cool? Sprinkles leans into sniff the uni. But he can't get his nose close on account of all the spikes. He begins to paw at it erratically, causing the custard to slosh around. <laughs> Please be gentle with my cuisine. Finally, Sprinkles goes all in. Tongue first, but he can't get past all the needles. He reels back as his tongue is poked and prodded. You hurt the dog, you jerk. Ow! Ah, my tongue! The professor appears to be having an allergic reaction to the sting. Shit! I can't use this. I was gonna give him a, a list because his tongue poked, but the game's doing it for me. Keep poking my tongue. Disqualified. A stunning turn of events. Who would have thought that serving food in a bowl made of needles could make it difficult to eat? Ah! Dejected, Ban Ban does not get go gentle into the night. Disqualified for glamour! Don't discount simplicity. <laughs> this is the last you've heard me. This isn't the last you've heard me. Before forcing us to endure his swollen tongue for another moment, Sprinkles graciously laps up a bowl of milk. I know, I know. I'm a dog and I drink milk. Get over it. Sometimes it helps calm my agitated tongue. Next student! Ashley! It's time to step up. Now describe your dish. I made... Orange Blossom Turkish Delight in a light rose water syrup top. Wow, I changed your voice again. Rose water syrup topped with French meringue and connected by sugar glass. Sugar glass, that sounds cool. That actually doesn't sound too bad. Indeed, it's quite delightful. However, I'd ask you that you please refrain from eating it or attempting to taste it in any way. It's very fragile, meant to be a display, please. Don't eat the food. At a cooking school? Got toast in your ears or something, Big Papa? I told you, it's a display piece. Ashley, I must say, it is beautiful. However, this is a cooking competition. At a cooking school. Yeah, which is why I cooked it and did an extremely good job cooking it, too. I didn't realize that we were having an eating exam. If I wanted to be judged on eating, I'd go to the College of Eating, School for the Hungry. I suppose you could smell it if you absolutely insisted, but don't breathe too hard. You might disrupt the sugar spiral. If the food cannot be eaten, it cannot be judged. You are disqualified. Rage overtakes Ashley, and she finally cannot keep her two-faced routine up. You wouldn't know high-end cuisine if it, if it cooked you. And with that, Ashley storms off to rededicate herself to being the best. But the time, this time, without being shackled by trying to be fake, nice, and liked by everyone. Ha! <laughs> this isn't the last you've heard of me, either. If this class gets much smaller, I'll be teaching myself. <sighs> Excuse me. You and Colonel Sandals, Sanders, the final cooks, step up together. Two chefs. What began as a bowl of delicious mac and cheese has become something else. He examines it closely, sniffing and eyeing the bowl. Is this an announcement of a new food at KFC? Uh-oh. I don't have a good feeling about this. From somewhere in the room, a little old drum roll plays. Just when I thought I've seen everything in the kitchen, you give me this... this... thing. And completely blow me away. In my 49 darn years of life, I have never tasted anything so delicious and perfectly balanced. It's so delicious, in fact, that everyone passes the class. You pass, you pass, and you pass, and you get a pass. He's going Oprah. Everyone gathers around and partakes of the mac and cheese bowl. 
They all seem to transcend this reality into another dimension. You win. Together, you and Colonel Sanders have made a new menu item. The new menu item is so impressive that even the Van Van and Ashley are drawn back into its magnetic fragrance. When they gaze upon your mac and cheese bowl, they admit that you are indeed an excellent chef. Sprinkles declares that you have passed. Everyone has passed. There were supposed to be more battles, but come on, how could they be better than this one? Now that the school year is complete and everyone has graduated, the students return for one last assignment to get their move on. The cafeteria has been completely redecorated in order to serve as the site of the school's graduation dance. Compared to the massive high-tech cooking arena, the humble decor seems downright cute and cozy. DJ Dog is in the house! You knew that Sprinkles was a master chef, but he's also a world-renowned turntablist? <laughs> Who says you can't teach an old dog new tricks? Van Van and Ashley tell everyone that they've committed themselves to righting the wrongs they did while they were the villains. <laughs> they got new outfits. For a moment, you actually believe them. Not another haunting! <laughs> no ghosts allowed at graduation. It's clearly written in the cool school's bylaws. I keep clicking off the game. Ugh, I was never actually a ghost. It was all a trick to finally get you to notice me. Oh. Amusing. And now that everyone is together. It's the Spork Monster! <laughs> he has totally mellow mellowed out. Everyone, the Spork Monster is no more. From here out, I prefer that everyone refer to me by my new name. Party Monster! Student tries to finish where he had what he had to say, but everyone is too wrapped up talking talking to Spork. Sorry, Party Monster. Dejected, student walks off. Maybe things didn't work out for Miriam romantically, but she found the love in her cooking. And you know she's gonna do great. A red carpet rolls all across the floor of the ballroom. It's like a Hollywood movie premiere. Who could command such an entrance? It's Pop! He's arrived late to the dance, but apparently for a good reason. Walking the carpet, you see perched atop his dirty chef's hat. A crown? Welcome back, Pop! I know you weren't able to complete the final exam except your diploma. So he mailed it directly to your father and figured it was the least we could do for the school's team. Oh, now I get it. And we get a new wing on the school, not to mention the honor of educate, educating the son of the chancellor of such and such. <laughs> the music at the dance is interrupted by the sound of sparkling and electrical hissing. It's Clark who has arrived late to the dance. Now that I've graduated, er, now that I've graduated, I can reveal my truth. Whoa, he's still doing the talking thing. I am Clank, and I am not of this earth. I am actually from a faraway planet in another dimension. What? What? Hmm. I actually feel like I knew that this whole time. Really? Now that I have learned the ways of your kind, I must return. Miriam, will you come with me? I, I, I don't know what to say. Besides, no, obviously. I have just begun to learn who I really am. This is the time for me to devote my life to figure out who you are, Clank. You're blown away by Miriam's maturity. It's pretty clear that she's managed to surpass you in that regard. I understand. Kind of. Humans are weird. A portal opens up and Clank disappears through it. Finally, Colonel Sanders arrives. Your character is cute. Oh, I don't have a picture. I'm Big Papa. That's Miriam. She's my friend. <laughs> Colonel Sanders arrives. Howdy, classmates. Just like the first day you met him, he has come prepared to feed the entire class. However, it's not enough to just give him a bucket of chicken. He's not, also not in his suit. This, this time, it's a full meal. I didn't get to be the most famous chicken man in the history of chicken or man by not reminding people to go out and buy my chicken. Really? That's the end? That makes more sense? <laughs> yeah, I'm Big Papa.
No! It's not the end. As everyone feasts on the delicious chicken dinners, Colonel Sanders finds you sitting at the edge of the dance floor. Big Papa, what are you doing sitting all alone? Ah, uh, you know. Just waiting for the right person to ask me to dance. I wonder, might you tell me? What are the qualities that you would expect to find in such a lucky person? Off the top of my head? I don't know. Spicy musk, tiny goatee, degree from the cooking school, academy of learning. Just to name a few. It's truly my lucky day. Would you dance with me? Yes! I would love to. As you glide across the dance floor, hand in hand with Colonel Sanders, the future stretches out in front of you. And once my 100th franchise is up and running, I'll be ready to take a day off. And I'll be so glad to spend together with you, Big Papa. How sweet! We'll work together and play together! Colonel Sanders stops dead in his tracks. Work together? What? Uh, I, I think this is something I'll just need to do by myself. But who will you help with running your restaurants? I don't believe I need help. Besides, based on your time at school here, do you really think running restaurants is the best path forward? Could it be? You found a love connection but failed to earn Con Colonel Sando Sanders' respect as a chef? Can you live with only half of him? Will you be able to endure sharing him with his other love, the life of an entrepreneur? I suppose I can enroll at pastry school. Oh my dear big papa. I'm sure you'll find your place eventually. And along the way, you'll have me by your side. The end. What? Okay. Okay, so that's the end. Are there multiple endings? <laughs> I love this intro, it cracks me up. Let's see if there's anything different. They didn't have any credits either. <laughs> Oops. Clicked out the game. Settings, new game, continue, load game. Go away thing that popped up. Oh, credits here. Let's roll the credits real quick. Oh. Wow, that was a small team. Good job, guys. Good job, everyone that worked on that. Back. All right, can I load it? Whoa. Dang it. Oh. That secret ingredient thing was from, like, Act 2. And I don't want to redo all of it. I wonder if, um... The combat sequences, like you, act, if you can get a different ending. Ah, that's something I'll just look up. But, uh, <laughs> that was I Love You, Colonel Sanders, a finger looking good dating simulator. Probably one of the longest game names I've ever seen. And that was just goofy fun. I, <laughs> I enjoyed it. <laughs> well, we were hot for uh, Colonel Sanders. Which, let's be real, he looks way better. Wow, the colors. He looks better right there. Um, the colors, or the, his look here is way better than his current Colonel Sanders. Let's be real. Um, but that was fun. We have, well, we have 30 more minutes of stream time. I could end here, or I can try to find something small to do. We still gotta freaking play that one. <laughs> that Switch game demo that's never ending. Ah. Uh. Which is also, I guess, turning into a game is less of a game and more of a, a visual novel. I didn't realize that. And I don't know because there's like no decisions. I'm just clicking through like text just telling me a story. So I don't even think that one's like a sim. It's just a, a novel that you get to click through. But oh, you know what? Hold on. I'm, uh, there we go. There we go. Oh, I'm tired, though.
Maybe I'll, uh, maybe I'll end stream slightly early tonight, my friends. And then, uh, figure out what we do tomorrow. Tomorrow, I maybe will finish that one game. Deciding if I want to do 30 minutes of another game. Or that, uh, what's it called? World End Syndrome. If I want to do 30 more minutes of that. Or just save it for Monday. <laughs> Ow! Alright, for that 25 more bitties! You want some bitties? You want some bitties? Want some? See, take it for the bitties! Jada! Jada wants some bitties! Come here! Hop over the couch. Come here, where are you? There you are! Say thank you for those bitties! Delicious bitties, yum yum yum. Thank you for the unicorn bitties, my friend, I appreciate you. Oh, you know what? Uh, hey, stop licking the couch. I'm gonna, uh, if we gotta check what our street boss is at. Okay. Here he's, uh, oh, Half-Life. Okay, we're good. Nah, look, <laughs> Bird is all excited. <laughs> oh my goodness gracious me. Oh, uh, yeah, I kind of, I might just uh, end here and then, um, tomorrow we'll, uh, Maybe finish that Switch demo. Uh, Code Vein comes out. I get to Code Vein on Friday, but uh, we won't be starting that until November sometime because uh, Screamtober comes up next week, which I need to prepare for. So maybe Monday we'll play, um, do another day of Switch demos. Hey, stop. Stop. Oh, I didn't switch back to this. Here, stop. There you go. So yeah, maybe Monday we'll do some more uh, Switch demos. We did get through uh, all the crazy games that have been dropping on us, but a bunch of games get released next month. Those are going to get pushed off to November so we can uh, do Screamtober uh, and take care of that. Be sure to go get your votes in on Discord under the Game Vote channel on which scary games you want to see uh, first or which ones you want to see because I don't know what, how long some of them are. So top votes are going to be played first, of course. Um, so go get your votes in there on the Discord if you haven't yet already. But uh, yeah, I think I'm gonna I'm gonna call it early tonight, just 30 minutes, so it's not too bad. And uh, I've been putting in more hours on during stream last couple weeks anyway, so it kind of balances out. I think <laughs> Tuesday, that was yesterday. Monday, I believe it was. We were whatever the first day we did this switch demos. We went an uh, hour and a half over time. Because I thought the demo was going to end. And it never did. It's still going. It's still going. Huh. So, uh, anyways, my friends. Thank you so much for tuning in with me. Hope you guys liked it. If you did, remember to like, subscribe, comment. It helps me out a lot. Let's me know what you're liking and what you're not liking. Birch, thank you so much for the biddies. I greatly appreciate you. I hope you have a good rest of your night. Um, you know, take care of yourself. Study up. But uh, don't stress yourself out and all that good stuff. Crimson, thanks for hanging out. <coughs> Excuse me. Ugh. My throat is raw from doing all those weird voices. Uh, Crimson, thanks you for hanging out as well. I appreciate you all tuning in. Um, but more importantly, remember to spay and neuter your pets, adopt don't shop, donate to rescue if you can afford it, or open up your house up to the possibility of fostering. It is a very rewarding experience and helps those animals and rescues out there very much in need. Anyway, I'm Basif. This hippo is Mama's. Jade is right down here. Thank you so much for tuning in with me, and I'll catch you guys next time. See ya.